Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome to the MongoDB series back here. In this video, I will walk you through with some of the update features and one of the delete feature as an assignment. I will definitely give you some of the assignments as well, so make sure you pay special attention to those assignments. They are very essential for future videos. First and foremost, this series is MongoDB, not MangoDB. MangoDB uh, there is no such thing as mango DB. Mango is a fruit, Mongo is a database. I never thought that I'll be making this kind of a differential statement. But I saw so many comments there that says mango DB. No, it's not mango, it's Mongo. So let's move forward and in this video we are going to talk about update and delete. Now what we have learned so far about reading from the database as well as writing into the database, update and delete are completely different options. If you remember the previous video, we have introduced one more thing in the parenthesis which is uh, filters. These filters are going to be something which we will be learning and alongside these filters, some of the operational keywords also are automatically just jumping around. So let's walk you through that how these things are going to be working. Again, watch out for the assignment. They are very, very essential. So we're going to just uh, bump the font a little bit. There we go. I hope it is much more readable now. Okay, let's hit Control L and uh, I'm going to run Mongo. Uh, make sure your Mongo D is running in case you are running through the commands. Uh, in case this tilde sign doesn't, not the tilde, the arrow sign appears uh, on your computer. All I want is this arrow sign. There we go. So now we are going to uh, run some of the commands. First and foremost, use students uh, because that's the database uh, that we have created. Uh, there we go. Use students. Switch to database students. Now let's see what is inside our database. If you remember in the previous video, we have entered some of the data. So db dot uh, students, not students, student data. And we are going to find all of that. Remember the command, find one and find all. Find one finds the very first one, which it finds. Find finds all of that. And we are going to prettyfy that. So there we go. And this is our database situation right now. Uh, three entries here. One, uh, this is two, and this is not really uh, prettyfied, but this is our third uh, entry in our database. Okay. Uh, makes sense. Now what we want to do is now we want to understand a little bit about the delete, a little bit about uh, the update operation as well. So delete part is like ridiculously simple and ridiculously easy. Like let's just say you want to delete uh, this part here which says Mary at the rate Gmail. Now first and foremost, figure out a unique thing about uh, a collection in which you want to add something or you want to delete something. Obviously you don't want to add like all of them. Maybe that's your goal, but for later. Right now I want to find something which is unique. Now every database has different kind of anchor points where they call like this is the unique thing about that. That might be uh, usually the ID but for some of the database they keep uh, emails as restrictive as well. So it can be anything. Now let's just see first based on the email I want to update on this particular thing. And by the way you can choose any key value pair. There is no obstruction there. So let's try to delete that. Again, be a little bit cautious about the delete operation. It cannot be returned back. So db dot uh, student data. So this is going to be the data command here. Now, first and foremost, what I want to do is delete one document. So obviously we learned the command in the presentation, which is delete one. So there we go. In the delete one, I have to pass on a unique parameter uh, through which I want to delete that particular uh, uh, that particular entry here. So in this case, I want to delete Mary at the rate gmail.com. So in the pair of curly braces, I'm going to pass that particular uh, unique key value pair. In my case, this is going to be email and that is going to be uh, simply Mary at the rate gmail.com and close down this with the double codes. Now, as I mentioned in the previous one, you can definitely there is an option of putting this email into the double quotes. You can also skip that. That's totally okay. Let's try to hit and run that. That is super easy. We got an acknowledgement of true. That means obviously it is deleted now. Let's just check that by pretty command. Uh, find dot pretty. There we go. So now the situation is pretty clear. We got uh, two things in our database, this one and this one. And now comes up a simple assignment. Make sure you run again an insert one command and I want you to insert one more entry in the database. As simple as it sounds. So note down your assignments here. Okay. And let me know in the comment section as well what command did you use to update one entry in the database. And the entry should have an email hitesh at the rate gmail.com. Fictitious email but 
just try to add that. Okay, now the delete is done. And we are going to learn one more thing about a delete many command as well. We have used the delete one, but I'm gonna mess around a little bit with you, then I'll tell you that how the delete many can be used, okay? So don't mind me there. So now let's just learn about the update command as well. So we're gonna say db dot uh, student uh, data, there we go. And of course, uh, with the update, we have got update one and update many as well. Both of them are available. But right now, first we are gonna work with update one. Now this is a little bit tricky command and we are going to face one error while updating this stuff. So let's just face that error as well. So update one. Obviously, while updating, you need to figure out that uh, what is that unique thing that you really want to do with that database so that you can say that this is how uniquely I can find that particular entry and can update certain things into it. For example, here I can see that uh, obviously ID and email should be like the way of updating the things. But let's just say for some reasons, there might be a lot of things going on in database. So let's just say for some reason you want to update the value which has course count for. We can see that uh, so far in our database, there is nothing. So this particular one entry can also be used for finding out this database uniquely. So I can go up here, uh, there we go. And uh, you have to add two fields here. The first one is how uniquely you are going to find it. Second one is what really you want to update inside that, what entry you want to add there. Okay, so uh, we saw that we can add a course count, which is four. So this is my unique entry. So make sure that's your fir first curly braces. And the second curly braces, you add an entry which you really want to add. So in this curly braces, I will be saying, let's just say I'm using Facebook authentication, let's just say for a minute, and I'm saying FB uh, logged in, that's my new key value pair. Let's just say on my website, sometimes later, I added a field that you can also now logged in through Facebook. And uh, this is the entry for that. I'm gonna say that user said, a uh, user actually logged in from Facebook. Now, if I'm going to run this, uh, this is the exact moment where we get an error. It's very important to see that error so that later on in this course, you can figure out that, hey, I'm missing that point. So let's just hit enter, see the error. Now the error simply says, uh, must contain atomic operator. So you will be learning a little bit about atomic operator. So make sure you go on to the MongoDB uh, document section and learn a little bit about these atomic. There is an entire list of them. Now let's see how we can figure this out in this particular video. So the atomic operator is nothing much, it's just a keyword that starts with the dollar sign, okay? Let me walk you through how this can be done in this particular uh, case scenario. So first and foremost, what we need to do is we need to start another pair of curly braces. So just put it up there, no, this one, this one, curly braces. And these atomic operator always and always starts with a dollar sign. So dollar sign and set set is for update obviously you want to set another entry in your uh, database up here and especially here so we're gonna say dollar sign set then put a colon sign and i'm gonna just increase a little bit of my shell here and just put a space there now space is totally optional but i want you to learn why the best method now obviously since we started a curly braces remember curly braces parentheses square brackets always comes in pair Obviously we need to end it. So we're gonna end it just after this yes. So there we go and add that one. Now what we have done is we have got this line. It's going to find the, in the entire document set here that which entry is having course count of four and we'll update it. I'm gonna hit enter and there we go. We can see acknowledged true match count one modified one. So obviously we have modified one entry. Let's just see that using prettyfy that did we got a new entry. There we go, voila, uh, FB logged in, yes. So there we go, we have got uh, this entry here. Okay, that is pretty nice. Now, what I want you to do is uh, two assignments here this time. One was there, two more. The first one is repeat this entire thing using this dollar set atomic operator and try to add the similar field of FB logged in in our second document here. Now it's totally up to you how you want to add that, you might want to add that using name or email or ID, totally on you. Okay, after that, I want you to add another flag in all of these documents using update many. I repeat the second assignment with update many. 
A lot of you might be failing in that, but that's totally okay. In the next video, I will walk you through with this assignment. So I want you to add one more field, which is uh, marked is going to be key. And the second one is going to be uh, deleted. So we just want to add a new entry in both this IDs here, this one, and this one that says marked to be deleted. And that should be done using update many. So that's it for this video. Let's keep it short. And I hope you are enjoying this series. If you are enjoying it, please do let me know in the comment section so that I can make more videos and can walk you through accordingly. So that's it for this video. Let's catch up in the next one.